A panel of law enforcement and medical professionals won't hesitate to say heroin is a problem in our community. They shared stories and experiences tonight as part of a forum hosted by the Drug Free Coalition of Tippecanoe County. News 18's Brittany Tyner was there and reports the number of deaths related to heroin and prescription drug abuse is up in the area. Brittany? Dan, an alarming statistic that was shared tonight. There have been 12 heroin or morphine related deaths in Tippecanoe County so far in 2015. Community leaders know it's a growing problem and they're willing to offer some possible solutions. As a parent, I never really thought my kids would do this, but here I was. Donna Zoss lost her son Michael to an overdose in 2011. He passed away at home. After losing Michael, Zoss decided to join the drug free coalition of Tippecanoe County. I found out from trying to get him help that there's a major lack of resources in our community and in the state of Indiana. And available resources was a topic that came up time and time again during a panel discussion Wednesday night. The coalition gathered medical, law, and law enforcement professionals to talk about the rising problem of heroin and prescription drug abuse. For instance, just in March, seven people in Tippecanoe County overdosed on heroin. Five of them died. Lafayette Police Chief Patrick Flannelly says not only are lives lost with this problem, but there are a number of other issues that come along with it. That are stealing from family, from friends, uh, from neighbors, from our community, uh, and, and they're committing crimes that are really disrupting our sense of safety and security. Flannelly says the core problem is addiction. He says it takes time for a person to go through treatment. If we can create programs that require minimum times and minimum amounts of incarceration where we, we hit those benchmark times where the person that's addicted can start to realize, all right, this is what's fueling uh, my my issue and and we can start to break down some of those barriers. And any program that helps with addiction is something Zoss welcomes. With addiction, it's very cunning, powerful, and baffling. The issue of spice overdoses also came up tonight. Chief Deputy Prosecutor Kristen McVeigh told legislators like State Representative Sheila Klinker and Senator Ron Alting she would like to see stricter penalties for that. Brittany Tyner, News 18.